Hello, uh, my name is Mr. Peters and I'm going to be your instructor for Modern World History um, online. <clears throat> I just wanted to take a few minutes to go over the um, key features of the course syllabus and also just tell you a little bit about myself. Um, so if you don't know yet, the class will take place on um, our learning management system and the one that we use is Canvas. Um, so if you do not know how to log into that, or you've never used it before, you need to make sure that you contact me so that I can make sure that you're set up. But I'll talk a little bit about that in this video. Um, <clears throat> all of my basic contact information is listed here on the first page of the syllabus. Again, I'm not going to go over all the basics, all, everything in the syllabus, but I'm just going to hit the highlights. Uh, the course is Modern World History. We're going to be looking at global history from roughly the year 1400 to present day. Um, and some of the key topics that we're going to be addressing uh, deal with uh, the Renaissance and Reformation, Age of Exploration, um, key political changes uh, in Europe and how those ideas about government shaped the world. Uh, we're going to learn about the Industrial Revolution and its effects uh, as well as um, major global conflicts that most of you have some knowledge on about World War I and World War II and then, of course, the after effects of that in the contemporary world. Um, that's a quick summary, and we'll go into much more detail as time goes on. Uh, so this class is for one credit, um, and <clears throat> each unit will have its own specific objective, so I'm not going to get to that now. Uh, but a lot of the basic information is on the first pages. A couple things. Um, your login information for Canvas should be your first name dot last name and it should be your student ID with the AAA after. If not, you can always do a uh, password resubmit to change that if you can't seem to log in. Uh, one thing you need to make sure is that you sign up for um, Edpuzzle using my class code, which is right there. Uh, there will be some assignments associated with that, so make sure you follow those instructions. If you do have any major issues, make sure to call our district office for technical difficulties that you can't solve yourself. The thing that I want to focus on the most, of course, is uh, the assignments, which I'm sure is what you mostly care about. How do I pass the class? Um, so it's broken down into several different things. So each module is, I'll call a unit, and in that unit you'll have some uh, normal assignments that you'll constantly have throughout the year. So in each unit we will have um, digital online discussions. Um, you need to make sure that you follow the directions and you answer the question and then you're responding to your classmates' posts. Um, the normal assignments, um, beyond the introduction video, video, which I'll talk about here in a moment, um, there will be some lecture videos for each unit. Um, for the most part, there will be three of them in each unit, um, and you have to pass the comprehension questions by at least an 80% to move on. Um, one of the things that we'll focus on in class is um, developing our historical thinking skills and so some assignments I call them document analysis where you'll be given some historical sources related to a topic that we're learning about and be asked to answer some questions and um, use the documents in your response. Um, throughout the year you will have four major writing assignments which are called document based questions or for short TBQs and these are argumentative essays that you will use a series of documents in which to answer a major historical question. Uh, so, for example, one of them is, was the Industrial Revolution beneficial uh, for the people who lived in it, or did it make their lives worse? And those are each worth 100 points. Um, there is one major, there's a major research project throughout the entire year that has checkpoints, which I'll show you here in a moment, uh, how that it pans out. You have some basic quizzes and exams for each unit. And here is the grading criteria and breakdown of all the points that are associated in the class. Um, so you know exactly how many points there are and how to achieve the grade that you would like to get. Um, uh, one thing you're going to want to pay attention to is the timeline for the class. Uh, when the modules are due, this is self-paced, so you can finish them as you go, but you should not be falling behind. And what's really important, of course, are these research project deadlines. We'll be going more in detail with what this project is, but you need to make sure that you're meeting these deadlines uh, for that. Um, talks about the expectations for posting uh, with discussions. 
and about some basic things about the policies with cheating and late assignments and netiquette. So make sure that you read in detail this uh, so that we can have a productive class. Um, <clears throat> the first assignment that you need to do is an introduction video, uh, which you will post to a class uh, voice thread, and it's pretty straightforward. Um, in this, you're going to talk these requirements, who you are, your interests and hobbies, um, what your goal for the future is, um, what you already know about world history, if anything at all, how comfortable you are with uh, Canvas or other online formats, and I want you to comment on five of your classmates' videos uh, about things that maybe you have a connection with or that you found interesting. The rubric is there. So uh, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I'm married. been married for uh, going on 10 years. I've been a teacher for uh, going on eight. I've uh, been teaching all different types of history, Kansas history, uh, U.S. history, and now world history. Um, I, my hobbies include I like to play golf. I love to play uh, board games and reading, of course. Um, I have two dogs. Um, big dog fan, don't like cats. Um, goals of the future just to continue teaching, of course. I love what I do. Um, <clears throat> I will be available to you to answer any questions, preferably through email. Um, and on that voice thread assignment, you want to make sure you post this directly uh, to VoiceThread, and the link will be in this assignment. Video, the assignment page for you to access to add your video to um, or to upload the video that you create. So make sure you follow the instructions and I look forward to a wonderful year um, and I look forward to getting to know you.